This is Morning Ireland on RTE Radio 1. And you're welcome back to Morning Ireland. Do you ever fancy saying enough is enough? Packing in the job you've worked at for years and changing career entirely. Well, one Dublin-based lawyer did just that. Alex Fegan is now a filmmaker and is currently touring America with his feature film about the dying breed of Irish pub free from loud music or large TV screens. The film premiered in Washington, D.C. last night and our Washington correspondent, Katrina Perry, went along to meet Alex and to watch the film. A Thursday night trance session in Clancy's pub in a thigh. We we regularly have 20, 21 musicians um, playing all sorts of instruments in here every, every single Thursday. So it's the longest running music session in Ireland. It's 46 years just one of 35 Irish pubs in a feature film currently on promotion across the United States. It's a film made with no budget to speak of and by an almost one-man band, Alex Fegan. Danny, if you just sit sit there, please. I just want to get a shot with you with the bar in the background. He gave up his reasonably steady job as a solicitor to follow his heart and make movies. And I was interested in films since I was a kid. And then one day I just decided I have to go back and do what I love. So uh, that's how I got back into it. Yeah, life is short and I always believe if you do what you enjoy, do what you're passionate about, uh, you've always got the best chance of doing well in it because you're always going to be working at it. You're always going to be thinking about it. Right now he's on an American promotion tour, showing his feature film, The Irish Pub, to an audience featuring very few Irish people at a trendy establishment where the black stuff is sold only by the can and where supplies run out before the midway point of the film. Now, we interviewed the owners of uh, third generation pubs in Ireland and got them to tell us all the funniest stories that happened in their pubs, why the history of their pubs, why there's a confession box in the middle of their pub. While here, he's also filming the sequel, Irish Pubs in America. Put a mic on you here now very quickly. He's at the Dubliner on Capitol Hill, owned by the American-born Irishman Daniel Coleman. How did you come to own this pub? Well, I was born in the pub business. My father had a little pub in upstate New York, Syracuse, New York, where the whole west end of the city is Irish. It's called Tipperary Hill. When I was growing up, if you asked me what nationality I was, I'd say Irish. I wouldn't say I was American. Obviously, I'm American. I'm Irish, though. Daniel says he's well aware of the connection between the Irish pub and the newly arrived Irish immigrant. Over the past 40 years, I've probably had three or four thousand brand new Irish immigrants here. We certainly welcome the Irish immigrants that are here now and I hope somehow they straighten out their immigration problems and can stay forever like my mother did. Back at the screening in DC, the crowd are enjoying the film. And the price of drink went up 10 cent the other day and the customers were complaining and whinging so I said I'd give them free drink for the night if one of them could tell me the price of a sliced pan of bread. Not one of them knew the price they guessed, and they guessed they got it all wrong. To be honest, I didn't know the price either, but this fella, Sean Murray, after he started all the trouble. So I said, Sean, there you are. You know the price of a pint of Guinness, but you don't know the price of the staple of life, the very staple of life, bread. And I says, I don't, Billy, you know. He says, but then again, I wouldn't eat seven or eight sliced pans every night, would I? It's been shown as part of the Irish popcorn series, as curator Kate Flannery explains. You see something just so essential about Irish culture, the pub, and publicans, and, and you know, pub life and what it is for the community. It's not hard to connect to that. I was not initially very interested in the topic because I've seen, as many people have, I've seen Irish pub documentaries before. Seeing his particular style of shooting and editing, it's, it was fantastically humorous and absolutely beautiful. While the film is out on DVD in Ireland at the moment, it won't be released in American cinemas until September. And the cinema goers here pledge to spread the word. Katrina Perry reporting there from Washington, 12 minutes to 8.